we are back on day three with Deja Vu. Not gonna lie, got a little stuck last time. Not sure where to go. I loaded up a walkthrough and realized I missed a very obvious thing. And we're gonna go get that. It is right up here in this office. So yesterday we found we could open the desk and there was something in there. Apparently, there's one more we need to open. <sighs> Key three. So hopefully that will open one of these doors we're stuck with. Key marked front. We're gonna go back to that house and see if that opens the front door. Oh, this guy again. And the muscle guy beats us. Maybe we can get this guy. Okay. We can punch him. Alright, this is the house. for a nurse. There's a combination lock that keeps us safe from would-be snoopers. Hmm. 
It's obviously the combination. Supposed to be taking all these. And I can't use either of these notes on this lock. This is gonna work. <laughs> Their prices. There's a final note written by the doctor. Siegel's secretary, Martha Vickers, says she wants the order delivered to Joe's bar. Martha, whose house we were at, is the secretary. Okay, so we need bisodiumitis. Dizziness, your head is really pounding. You're passing out. Okay, so figure out the medicine before you go in there. Good old point-and-click adventures here. We should probably take that note we found. And, uh, we'll probably have to use that. Alright, let's check the wall safe in the office. Wall safe with a combination lock. I'm just assuming you use the note on the save. There we go. Okay. Okay. Folder and a box. Examine the note. And now you. Oh, it says Ace Harding owes Joey Siegel a thousand dollars. Okay. Drink peanuts. Is this for the trunk? I think that's the last thing we have to unlock is the trunk. Ugh. Ah, that's the trunk. Is the 400-pound uh, woman in there? Okay, the moment of truth. Face. It's the biggest woman you've ever seen in your life. She appears to be unconscious. She's gagged and her hands and feet are tied. <sighs> She's a real tub of lard. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I'm at a loss of what to do here. Conscious. So we need to wake her up? So let's give her some sodium pentothal. I can't do that here. And I still can't use it, right? Can't do that. I really screwed up putting that medicine in the capsule. And I did that a long time ago. I have no idea what to do. I... Oh! 
take the capsule. Okay. I did that really work? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, uh, the capsules. Yes. Now use capsules. And so. This takes effect. Memories start rolling in. This one is from your childhood. It's Father O'Malley from the DeMille boarding school. You feel your memory slowly returning. It did, it did say take multiple doses. My memory suddenly hits you as the medicine takes effect. It's, it's taco. Taco sends you to the hospital for stitches. All right, we remembered the dog. Oh, here we go, now a flashback comes to you, obviously signaling the fact that your memory has almost returned. It's Susie Q, the girl next door. Susie Q gave you your first kiss. Suddenly you feel great, you now realize who you are. Ace Harding. That's it, you're Ace Harding, private eye. We need to go back. Oh, we gotta... <laughs> Went around of coins. We gotta take the cab again. Nine. No, I, I got enough for a round trip anyway. Alright, alright, alright. Let's go back up to the office. We have our memory back. Open the cabinet. Letter says, Ace, I've got a way to get you off the hook. Just pick up this wealthy woman and deliver her to me. I'll collect the ransom. Oh, you get to live. It is paid. If you bungle it, you'll take the rap. You got everything planned so that nothing will lead to me. This is the only offer you'll ever get. So decide and call you know who. Sugar Shack is known to have a hatred for something that Joey Siegel did to her. So is that lady I punched and stole the handbag from Sugar Shack? Sugar Shack was the blackmailer in the Alderman case. She's doing five years. Well, now what do I do? Choose some bubble gum. Oh, that worked. Okay, we got rid of something anyway. I did check this, didn't I? Yeah. That'll kill us. What are we supposed to do with her? Can I get the wine now? No, of course not. Why would you be able to do that? I've got my memory back, so now I want to know if some of these memory places... Stir new memories, right? Alright, this is how we woke up. We did that. Okay. Let's go up those steps to where the pictures were. Or I remembered uh, a boxer. Is it this one? Nope, that's a puff. Just a little different. It's a poster of you, Ace Harding, taken during your boxing days. A guy named Joey Siegel was your manager can't seem to remember anything nice about it. Okay. I need to use the truth serum on her. Sodium pentothal. Use. Medicine one. In capsules. Use capsules on... Oh, girl. The woman is trying to say something, but the gag prevents it from being coherent. Take the gag. Use it on her. The sodium pentothal takes effect. The woman starts babbling. Take me home. Please take me home. 
Auburn Road to take me there. Oh, I'm having to get some more coins! Mmm! One something. Is it at least six coins? Oh, good. That'll work. Let's take this cab this time. Alright, what do we have here? House? Butler explains that he has strict orders not to let anyone in the house unannounced. Especially with the master asleep, this guy looks like the classic wimp. Sorry, I'm gonna socko ya! You've knocked the butler out with a tremendous punch, he now lies in an unconscious heap. Go in the door, our kitchen. Okay, another memory wave. When your childhood comes through, it's mother! She's baked a cake. Give you it's your birthday or some other occasion. She's trying to open the cabinets. Maybe I should shoot him to open them, huh? Ooh. So, do we have to give him a, a pill to knock him out? Like, give him, like, the truth pill? Follow the timetable to the letter and destroy the evidence. When we're done, it'll look like Ace... It'll look like Ace did the kidnapping. For Siegel, don't worry. What about the missus? She'll suffocate for him and finds her. Because that's his wife. And trying to set me up. That, okay, that's the briefcase that you recall having carried a while ago. Is there a gun in here? Nope, just candy. Examine it first. I got so much crap. So what it says, Sternwood, this is my final warning. Keep your hands off Vickers. Or your wife gets the story. I don't think she'll look upon you so favorably in her will after that. Guest room, huh? Capsule. Joey, if you're gonna die for trying to stop me from seeing John. See this gun? Here's what you get from that lady. So did she... did she kill him? And then they tried to frame me. The blank notepad, you notice at the top she has a pad has several limitations on. I know what to do with that. Use the pencil on the memo. Timetable, 2.15 a.m. Be sure Joe's bar is closed up and all employees are gone. Have the missus situated in the woman's stall. Make sure she is bound and unconscious. Be waiting near the bar front door for Ace's arrival. With Ace installed. Be sure he's unconscious. Inject him with 10 cc of diethanol trimine. Take his gun and stuff. Wait for Siegel. Put Siegel behind his desk. And plug him with Ace's gun. Get Siegel's heartbeat. Plant his things on Ace. Put Ace's gun back. Where was my gun at then? Be sure not to leave Ransom Case behind.
We're gonna have to read that again. Okay, I know we need to find the gun. And we need to get rid of, like, what, the fake evidence? And I'm sure that's where the sewer's gonna come in. Because it was so deep and whatever. But he says gun back. I don't know. I don't know where the gun... I don't know where the gun is. Just making sure I looked at everything. Okay. Let's head down to the sewer. Oh boy. So I'm just gonna go through. Dump everything it'll let me. In here. Right? I still don't have the gun though. Where the hell's the gun? And I probably need to hold on to that. All right. Let's go to the police station. I found your gun. So where the, where's my gun? Still in the bathroom stall? Hmm. That was there the whole time. Gosh, I can't believe that. Gun was there the whole time. Ah, leave. Gun one. Water. Now, go to the police station. This it? This gonna be it? What? Oh, they want to hear your story. the walkthrough and I know I need the letter one I need the memo letter one and diary there's the diary there's the memo letter one I don't have letter one but I dump it I've never got no one it was in the folder in the safe. Did I not take it out? Police, the evidence you've brought to them 
proves to be interesting. In the courtroom, where you wind up. During the trial of the kidnapping of Mrs. Sternwood and the murder of Joey Siegel. Three bits of evidence prove valuable. The diary from Vickers Bungalow, the blackmail letter, and timetable from Sternwood's bedroom. These three items put together paint the picture of a plot by Sternwood and Vickers to kill Mrs. Sternwood and Steigel and to make you take the fall for it. The diary and the blackmail letter provided the motive for such actions. The timetable indicated how they did it. Sternwood and Vickers were drilled on the witness stand. The weight of the evidence and the skilled tactics of your lawyer made Vickers admit to the crime. Way to go, Ace. Because of your excellent skills, the case is laid to rest. Since the case drew national interest, your name is seen on every paper in the country. You could have asked for anything more. Oh, yeah. Once a boxer, now a private eye. Siegel lost his life for a mere 20 grand, so I'm off the hook. The town's really quiet all of a sudden, like nothing's happened. Crime will never cease. It's hunting its next victim right at this moment. Ace Harding's my month here. The next case is just around the corner. Somebody had better look out. The end! We got the end. That's it. Game just doesn't continue after that. You're done. Turn it off. It is, seriously. No buttons are working. We can't do anything else. We just finished up Deja Vu for the Nintendo. I don't want to be too harsh on the game, too unfair. We got a point and click adventure game on the Nintendo. There are versions out for PC and, and some other systems. Not sure how they play. Point and click adventures don't translate too well to a controller. And when you have all of the, the commands that Deja Vu has, it can be a little clunky. I had a good time with the game, had fun. It it was interesting. The story was good. I wish the game would have communicated a better what your goal was in the game. I knew we had a amnesia and we were trying to cure the amnesia. That's basically all it told us. You never really knew what to do. Day three, had a walkthrough. I would read into it until I got to the point I was stuck on or saw something that I had obviously missed, which the basic point and click adventure problem is you missed one thing in a drawer somewhere and that's what you needed. That happened twice. That's on me. Not necessarily the game's fault when I didn't explore everything as well as I should have. So let's do a little silly fun review of Deja Vu. For presentation, it looked fine. Uh, the music kind of repeated the same tune over and over. It was a catchy tune, still stuck in my head. But there was not much variety. Visuals, they did what they could with what they had to work with, it looks like. Especially with all the information they had to get on the screen. You were basically playing in just a, a small window on the screen and everything else was used for commands and things you can do. Presentation's gonna just get a smiley face. It looked fine. Gameplay. This is gonna be kind of a tough one. Uh, the gameplay of point and click adventure games is very straightforward. I, I want to kind of take into account the story and the flow of the game. It was nice when you did hit a game over. It would take you back to a screen before you died. Uh, you never really lost progress. To go with that, though, you could get yourself in situations where you would have to go back farther than it would let you. Um, I was out of coins at one point, and I luckily hadn't saved over a late save. So I was able to load up and have my coins back. And on another day, I, I finally found out you could use the slot machines to gamble with the coins and get more. Um, save states came in handy there to instantly reload it and 
get enough coins to get through the game. So gameplay is going to just get kind of a blank stare. Um, did what it needed to do, but there were a few times it was uh, not the best. Challenge. The challenge in Deja Vu comes in figuring out what to do. And it was, it was tough. You knew what you were supposed to do, but the game didn't give you any kind of a path to do it, if that makes sense. And, and you never really knew what you were supposed to do. You had amnesia. You would get some medicine, but then you found out what the different medicines did. And then once you cured your amnesia, it turned into you've been set up. How do you clear your name? Without really telling you, hey, you need to dispose of the evidence that was planted on you. You need to go to the police station with the evidence that shows who really did it. And death states weren't that bad. You know, game overs weren't that bad. They, if you got a game over, it would restart you pretty much where you were. That's not a big issue at all. For challenge for Deja Vu, I'm going to give it an annoyed face. Just a little annoying. Overall, Deja Vu was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. I thought it was a good experience. I, I liked the story. I had a good time. So overall, I'm going to give Deja Vu a nice smiley face. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I'd appreciate a like and subscribe. I'm hoping to put these weekend rental videos out about every two weeks. So hopefully we'll, I'll see you soon. And thank you again.